And and like I said, I was afforded everything growing up, but I had to be accountable for passing my classes. I had to be accountable to showing up. I had to be accountable to all the things that I was afforded. Better show accountability, or they're going to be taken away from me. And that 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 was the accountability my dad held me to. And you know, but I I knew what I had to do, and and I think that's it because I I didn't want to let him down. How did you argue with that guy? It was hard yeah. to argue. I'll show you real quick. I love it. Let's see it. This is the story photo book of my dad's life. And it it starts, I want to show you this real quick because I think pictures like this, him in World War II, as you can see, guarding the gliders that were used to invade Europe, uh, letters home to his sister. And you know, you see this about his life and and to do that, and then you see pictures like this with him with his family, how important family was to him. That that's that's a legacy he left behind. And if we leave a legacy for our kids, let it be the legacy that we meant something to them in a positive light, that we help them be something whatever they want to be and that we were there for them. And my dad was always there for me, no matter and what. How does, and how does not seeing a picture of your father, you know, in World War II, like, not does that not create courage within you to say what's the worst that could happen, right? I mean, you're talking about a guy you said at the beginning of the, the conversation was showed up with 30 bucks, every day was a cherry because – he was in a better spot than he was the day before, or he at least had a fighting chance to fight his way through it. Right. And I think right. that's what we can encourage our, our kids. The next generation is if you don't fight for something, if you don't, if you don't get out there and, and fight for it, whether it's your industry or whether it's your family or your country or whatever it is, like you gotta, you gotta have something that you're willing to fight for. And I think that's, right. that's where the courage comes in. And I think that's where the discipline comes in, because if you're going to fight for anything, you got to be in shape for that fight. Now, that fight isn't necessarily physical. That fight can be a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, and you're right. I mean, you, you, you're spot on with what, what you said.